Today's topic is, what do you guys think? You guys have been asking for a lot of things. Command of evidence, specifically command of evidence scientific, okay? And as you guys know, I'm using the terminology that Khan Academy and College Board is using, so you guys can find additional materials. So, uh, if you guys remember, I've already done a command of evidence question in terms of numbers, so that'd be quantitative, and I've also done it for poetry, which would be literary. So I'm doing the third type here, which is uh, the science, okay? So the first step is going to be, once I recognize this is a command of evidence question, which is, you know, which finding would do whatever, okay? I want to know, is this science, is this literary, or is this numbers? That's pretty easy, right? Literary, would be, you know it's from a novel, or from a poem, or if it's numbers, then you'll have numbers, okay? So this one is going to be the other category. If it's not poetry or literature, it's not numbers, it's scientific, okay? So, or you can just look at the phrase from the study. So I'm trying to look at if true or most directly weak into potential explanation. So I'm going back to kind of the classic method that we've been using, okay? Which is, I don't give a darn about all this stuff at the beginning. I really don't, it doesn't matter, okay? So once I recognize it's a command of evidence question and it's scientific, I just need to look at, well, I wanna weaken the potential explanation. What is the explanation? The explanation is this, okay? So in the science, my explanation goes like this, uh, okay? Um, A causes B, okay? So let's say uh, I say, um, eating popcorn raises SAT score. I mean, I wish, right? Yeah. So eating popcorn raises SAT score. So what does that mean? That means that more uh, popcorn goes up. My SAT goes up. That's my hypothesis, probably wrong, right? There's nothing related with popcorn and SAT scores. So how do I prove that to be wrong? There are a number of ways. You could say, well, I ate a lot of popcorn, my scores didn't go up. That's the normal way, right? Or let's say somebody says, oh, my scores went up. I had a lot of popcorn. And you're like, well, you also studied six hours a day. You also watched Sexy Day YouTube, right? And your scores are already high to begin with. All of those things don't matter, right? It's whenever it's something else. That's another way to weaken scientific explanations, okay? So that's the scientific background. Now let's care. One possible reason is that holding physical money causes people to think of it differently than receiving money digitally. Okay, so how would I weaken that? So it's going to be either they didn't hold physical money. Or it's going to be, it was something else. Okay. So I'm writing a lot today. But let me uh, clarify this concept for you guys, okay? So when I am proving something to be wrong in a science passage, it's going to be at this. They're saying that A causes B. What are two ways to weaken that? Not A or something else. So going back to my popcorn example. Yeah, I ate a bunch of popcorn, my SAT score went up. Dude, you hate popcorn. You never hate popcorn. Oh, you hate popcorn. You never ate popcorn, right? So that would be this one. Not A, didn't eat popcorn, so that can't be true. Or it was something else, which was the other example I gave you, like you guys watch Sexy J, whatever. I mean, not whatever, thanks for coming, guys. Okay, so let's look here. They wanted holding physical money causes people to think differently. Okay, I need something with holding physical money or not holding physical money. Okay, what do you guys think here? Uh, what weakens it, what weakens it? So this is the trap that people fall into. This is why I don't even want you to, you guys should read through it just in case, right? But I don't want you to pay attention to this. Cause you see here, the main idea is a form of money made a difference. And a lot of people go like, okay, made a difference. How do you weaken that? Uh, it's uh, this one, cause they do the same thing. That's a common trap, okay? The common trap comes from the middle of the paragraph so, so often. Okay. So um, it's, and then this one is uh, going to be Let's see. So this one just goes up, up with the original idea that these people are different. Okay. And then, um, and this one is also, they are different. Okay. So we're between B and D. And you guys could probably guess since I said B is a common trap answer, right? So B is such a good trap answer because you just go, oh, cause difference. So to weaken it, I want to do same. And this is it. That is a trap. Okay. I know I'm saying it twice. That is a trap. I don't care about the stuff in the middle, really. It's just this. They just said, holding physical money makes you act different. Well, we could it. They didn't have physical money, right? Or they had physical money, one of the two. So it's D, okay? 
Almost all digital transfer recipients withdrew their entire receipt money right after receiving the transfer. Why is that? Let me clear the board a little bit. Can I call this a board? Does that make me sound old? Okay. So the idea was holding physical money act, makes you act different. But that can't work if everybody had physical money. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you can't be like, oh, I did worse on the SAT because it was in English. SAT is always in English, right? Yeah. So to summarize, guys, it was, um, why do I lose? Oh, yeah, there we go. They said, physical money made a difference was the claim and then. But this was not different. And that's my thought process, okay? So my answer here is D. That is a very well-made trap answer. I'm not saying I made it well. This is based on what College Board uses Khan Academy in the blue book, right? So when I have a scientific um, command of evidence question, don't get distracted by the stuff in the middle. Just go to the end and just look for what variable are they claiming makes a difference? And then if it was the same, then it can't make a difference. Okay, my eraser is going crazy, but that's okay. So um, that's it for today, guys. And leave me in the comments if you guys want further explanation. I'll try to get back to all the comments as uh, fast as I can. My wrist is almost healed. I can type again. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Study every day with Sexy J. That's the best way. You already know. Bye-bye.